Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center. Today I want to show you a 2018 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT EPS Camo. And this is one that we've custom outfitted a bit. Got a few upgrades on it. So we started by installing a lift kit and then we upgraded the wheels and tires. We did a 14 inch STI HD alloy orange gradient wheel on there and then we added a set of that's a 14 inch wheel and then the blackwater evolution tires and those are 28 inch tall tires really a neat tire this blackwater uh, nice ride on hard surface and good traction in uh, in the mud and things and then also a heavy duty tire eight ply tire on that so we've got those front and rear so lift kit wheels and tires and then we added the kawasaki accessory rear bumper on it here and then we also installed a uh, steel top with the luggage rack on top of it. Now, if you're trying to put this in a standard garage, we would probably want to remove the luggage rack. It just bolts on. It's real easy to take off. But uh, we'd want to remove that if you're trying to put it in a standard garage. If, uh, if you've got a, a shop with a tall door or something like that, no problem, most likely. But uh, And then we added a uh, Mac Daddy front basket on the front. Pretty cool uh, basket here on the front. It's designed to hold a, uh, a cooler. I think a Yeti uh, 45 or an Egglu. There's a couple different ones that will fit on there. Plus it has a place here you can put either a 5-gallon bucket or like a 5-gallon water cooler. So if you're hunting with your dogs or something like that, you have uh, water there uh, for the dogs. Uh, it also has a 2-inch receiver on it and then a little storage basket here for whatever you'd want to carry there. And this is made out of aluminum, aluminum stainless steel hardware uh, here. And then it's sprayed with a uh, heavy duty bed liner material. Definitely a very high quality uh, piece there. Uh, this is the camo model, so it comes standard with the LED headlights. So one of the things you'll notice that is different from the uh, earlier model uh, pros uh, is the LED headlight design so that's one of the ways you can spot if it's an 18 or not is uh, the newer design on the LED headlight there. So they all have the halogen headlight here on the outside low and high beam on both headlights and then low and high beam on the LEDs there. Really nice mix of light with those two lights the halogen and the uh, the LED. And then we also installed our uh, DOT safety glass flip-up windshield. So this windshield is pretty cool. It has a feature that lets it flip completely up, uh, fully opening, and you can drive it with it fully opening. It has a steel surround. Then, of course, you can also park it in this uh, partially open position there. And then, of course, it'll close. And we'll show you how that works. <coughs> So got a little uh, thumb release handle here so you kind of hold and let that go. The struts are nice and strong so it'll stay up. It doesn't bounce up and down while you're driving even over terrain. It does really, really well. Uh, to close it, just reach up and grab the handle and uh, give it a little close right there. And then to park it in that open, in the partially open position just like that. So really a cool feature for those folks who really want the best of everything a windshield that's fully open uh, to shoot out of or uh, just to get a lot of air in the summertime and then also one that you can uh, can close uh, for the for the uh, cold colder weather or wetter weather and then also one that you can leave partially open to get a little bit of air uh, so as you look at the dash got a full LCD display has a fuel gauge, tells you if you're in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, clock, odometer, hour meter, uh, some warning lights and things like that. So pretty standard stuff there. Uh, here's your differential lock and unlock so that controls the, uh, the rear differential. Uh, lock and unlock there. It's selectable two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. This is your headlight switch for those halogens off, low beam and high beam. And then your LEDs off, low beam and high beam. And, uh, and then, like I said, you got some blanks here where you can install additional switches for additional accessories. A couple of 12 volt power outlets right there. Uh, got a nice big glove box right over there. Uh, your gear selector, low, high, neutral, reverse, sport style steering wheel, tilting wheel, and of course, I mentioned these are equipped with power steering. And then your parking brake here on the dash. Now, a quick tip on these Mule Pros if you're uh, on the 20, starting with the 2018 Mule Pros, if you don't have the seat belt plugged in, if your seat belt light is on, once you get to 10 miles an hour, it'll be in a safe mode. 
Uh, it won't run faster than that unless you plug in the tail light, the uh, tail light, the uh, seat belt, and then uh, the parking brake. If the parking brake is on, even one click, and the parking brake light is on, right there, you can see that light coming on and off. Then uh, this one is the parking brake light. Then uh, it'll be in a safe mode. So if your mule is not running just right, make sure that parking brake is all the way off, and make sure your seat belt's plugged in. Drink holders on each end of the dash. You can see those there. Uh, one of the other things that uh, we did to this one is we added an under seat storage box. I'm going to go around this other side and pop that seat. So we added the Pro Armor steel locking under seat storage box. So it's got a little barrel key like that. Just like that, so you got a really nice uh, steel under seat storage box. <clears throat> that was an accessory that we added. And then also new for the 2018s is there's a, a, uh, there's a storage compartment there that is now standard on, uh, I think, LEs, camos, and ranches. All are going to have that as well as the new Pro FXR has that as well. Uh, nice easy open doors. We just love the doors on these. Really easy to open and close. They're just not a problem at all. There's your fuel tank with your fuel fill. Of course one of the things that's nice about these Mule Pros is that the FXT models with the dual bench seats is you have the ability to fold up this rear seat and extend the bed forward. So you can have a single bench with a long bed or dual benches with a short bed. One of the things that you'll notice about these Mule Pros is this rear seat is elevated above the front seats, what Kawasaki calls stadium seating. So a really nice uh, riding experience for those rear seat passengers. Uh, so the other cool thing about these is you can get those dual bench seats on this Mule Pro FXT in a nice short wheelbase, not nearly as long as some of our competitors' crew cab models, the dual bench seat models. But a nice short wheelbase helps with the turning radius. If you haven't driven one of these Mule Pros, they are just fantastic. Super smooth ride, fully independent suspension, front and rear. Disc brakes, front and rear, 46 mile an hour top speed. Uh, has an 812 cc liquid cooled fuel injected motor and the motor in these just purrs. It runs very, very smooth, uh, very quiet. There's not a lot of noise in the cabin at all. It's a very pleasant riding experience inside of a Mule Pro. So if, like I said, if you're used to our older mules, you haven't driven with the new Mule Pros, come on down here and see us at Magnus Cycle Center. Take a test drive on our test track and with these Mule Pros. They are just fantastic. If you're looking for something that's just all out performance, there are machines on the market that are much faster and more of a hot rod than this machine. But this machine performs very well for many of our customers. It is just what the doctor ordered. It really, really works well. And then I think I mentioned a while ago, best warranty in the business, three year standard warranty from Kawasaki on these Mule Pros. Of course, if you like this machine, but you don't care for the orange gradient wheels, I dig it. I think it matches nicely with the Mule, the orange logos that are on the machine. But if you don't care for that, we can do this machine with black wheels for you. If you like this one, but you don't want the front basket on it. We can do a different front bumper on it. Give us a call. We can really quickly and easily give you a, uh, a no hassle, no obligation quote on your custom outfitted mule from Mainland Cycle Center. All right, well, that's a look at this 2018 Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT EPS camo uh, custom outfitted by Mainland Cycle Center. All right, one last time, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at MainlandCycleCenter.com or by phone at 409-948-4969. And we would just love it if you'd give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, get on down here to Mainland Cycle Center where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.